Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been over a month since I have vlogged. I've been filming here and there and posting pretty consistently on Instagram stories and TikTok, but I just haven't been in the headspace to vlog because I have been going through so much and I just, I feel like we need to catch up before I even dive into this vlog because I just, I don't even know where to begin. In the beginning of March, I was T-boned in an intersection when I was driving with my boyfriend. And if you followed me for a while, this is the second really significant car accident that I've been in in the last two years. And my last car accident also wasn't my fault. And I had to do physical therapy for like six months to gain back the uh you know muscles in my shoulders from really hurting and so going through this again has been so incredibly stressful it just happened so out of the blue and really scared me that there was absolutely nothing i could have done to avoid it happening so it's just put me in a really anxious place ever since then i still don't even know if my car is totaled because it is really old and I've been meaning to buy a new car. So it's just really strange timing. I was trying to sell it and it was also just really scary. I have been feeling a lot of fear about driving again and that's really inconvenient when you live in a city like LA where even just driving close distances is like 30 minutes. So I've been driving my mom's car, which helps a lot. It has a lot of safety features like a backup camera and like those um, blind spot detectors. Those are just so comforting when you're driving and you are more anxious. So I'm definitely trying to get a car that has that, but that was definitely something I did not have in mind. So I took a break from being on camera because of all of that stress and then out of the complete blue again sammy had a seizure and she's never had one before i had never seen an animal have a seizure before and if you're a pet parent your pet being in danger or sick or having a seizure is like i mean it's your worst fear that you could lose them and as someone as big of a worrier as me, I just, you know, obviously went worst case scenario and just spiraled for days until I found out at least some answers with her blood work. And at this point, I mean, she hasn't had another seizure. All you can really do is watch them and make sure it doesn't happen again and track it if it does. And there is medication. It just, the whole thing was genuinely terrifying and nothing I would wish on any other parents of sweet little creatures. Here's Sammy. She is in great spirits, sunbathing in her favorite spot underneath my tripod where she sits every afternoon. I've been working out a lot to combat the amount of anxiety and also neck pain I've been having from the accident. So I've been doing yoga, I've been doing Pilates, that's what I'm about to go do. And I'm also checking out a sauna today because that is supposed to be really helpful as well with muscle pain and, you know, recovery. My little matching workout set is from Aritzia. It is their butter leggings and I will link whatever top this is because it's just the perfect length with these leggings. It doesn't like show too much because I don't like working out in a sports bra, but some of the long line tanks are almost too long. So it's really perfect. Finished with Pilates, I'm now on my way to the sauna. But I wanted to say if you've never been to an LA mall, if you're visiting LA or you just want my opinion, the Century City Mall is by far my favorite mall. It just has everything. It's outside. It's really stunning. This is an infrared sauna. It's different than like a typical one and it looks honestly crazy. How do I even lift this? <laughs> oh my God. making some chai spiced coffee cake because I was honestly just craving it and it's one of my favorite recipes I've shown it before oh my 
my god. There is nothing better than fresh, hot coffee cake. I might even have to make a second cup of coffee just to enjoy this with. Tomorrow I'm going to a wedding and I desperately need to do my roots, self tan and paint my nails because I just do not feel put together at all. I haven't painted my nails in like a month and my hair color is honestly just super grown out and brassy. I can see three obvious shades in my hair. We have like my roots, some faded light color touch up and then just really brassy ends. I am using the DPQ Root Touch-Up Kit in light brown, and after doing my roots, I'm going to apply their Gloss Plus, which is like a semi-permanent hair color in light brown. Usually, I would use their medium brown for both of these, but I do like how light this color is. I just don't want it to be so orange. So I'm going to tone it with this blue shampoo and set a timer for like five minutes to really get this orange tone more neutral. I just sectioned my hair into four and I'm starting with the bottom sections because my little baby hairs can get so dark so fast, but this is a lighter color. So hopefully it will just look more natural and more full. The color is all in my roots. Now to do the gloss plus and I'm gonna do this one section at a time because it can get really messy. Also when washing out semi-permanent hair color like this, you can stain your bathtub or your shower because so much color pours out. One last blob for good measure and then I'm gonna tie this up and let it process for about 40 minutes which is really long but they say their colors are more gentle, so they need the full process time. Time to blow dry. Are you ready for the reveal? Here is my hair. It just looks a lot thicker. Like, I feel like that's where you can tell that my hair color is naturally light. The hair color is also still relatively warm, even after 10 minutes with blue shampoo but I am still pretty happy with it. It just looks like a lot healthier, feels a lot shinier. The color looks a little bit more even and like intentional, not just like super, super brassy. So hopefully this blowout lasts until tomorrow. I am not gonna put any oils on it. All I used was the JVN blowout milk, three pumps of this as like a heat protectant. It smells so good. And I used my dry bar blowout brush, which I love, but I didn't put like a ton of effort into setting the curls or anything because I'll probably just touch it up tomorrow. I just wanted it to be dry and these bangs to be you know, nice and fluffy because I am going out to dinner. I'm just going to Erewhon uh, to see Dom and catch up before she goes to Coachella. So I thought it would be nice to have a blowout. I also painted my nails and my self tanner is still developing. So I might look ever so slightly more tan, but it does take some time and I might do like a second coat tomorrow depending how it looks. But that is it for the at home glow routine. It is now 6 p.m. and I am about to go get dinner with Dom, but here is my outfit. I am wearing these super baggy low slung jeans from A Gold, and then this sweater is from Everlane, and I'm wearing that with my platform loafers and my little vintage Louis Vuitton bag. Little air one haul. Yes. What did we get? I got taco. Those looked so good. It's gonna be insane. So that was the steak taco and then the chicken taco? It was the chicken taco. Gorgeous. And then we both got oatmeal cookies. Got some sushi. Beautiful, freshly made. It was like coming right out. And then I got a little combo plate. We got the roasted salmon, the pesto carrots, and the rice balls, which I've never had before. They're gonna be, they're so good. I used I, to always get that and yeah. the buffalo cauliflower. It's the day of my friend's wedding and I'm not vlogging it, 
but I did want to show you my outfit. I am wearing this Reformation dress that I got at their sample sale. And these little heels are from Dolce Vita and I'm so winded from running around and getting ready. But I'm so happy with how my hair and makeup turned out and I'm bringing a blazer and my Chanel bag, but my boyfriend's in the car, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Just had to show you guys because I know I would want to see it if I was watching this vlog, you know? My fridge is now so organized. I have my overnight oats on top, tuna salad, potato salad, and I was just thinking about how I should make some tomato sauce because I have a lot of garlic cloves and it's only 11 a.m. I haven't even had my coffee yet. So I think I'm gonna take a quick break to make my coffee, but sometimes it just hits me where I'm like, I am my mom. I am my mom. She always has cooked to like manage stress and cleaned to manage stress. And last night I mopped my entire apartment, deep cleaned my bathroom. I was like on the floor cleaning in between the tiles. It feels so much better and so much cleaner, but I know that it's me just like trying to control something to make me feel better. But at least it's like a very positive coping skill and it is something that grounds me. It makes me feel very in the moment, but thankfully I do have therapy today. So that will be very helpful to actually like sit down and uh, face my anxiety as opposed to just like running around. I am gonna get some work done after I finish peeling all of these garlic cloves because for whatever reason, it just is what I wanted to do. It is finally time for lunch. This sourdough seriously smells so good. It is from Five Star Frogs Bakery. I got it at the Rose Bowl, not the Rose Bowl. I got it at the Melrose uh, Farmer's Market and I am going to toast two slices to have with my tuna salad. I'm also drinking a blood orange carrot ginger kombucha. I don't, I can't remember if I've had this flavor before, I did just have therapy and I just feel like a massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I just feel so grateful for my therapist. I've had the same one for like the past four years and that relationship just is so special and so unique and I feel like she truly understands me at a level that I don't even understand myself. It felt really great to talk to her as always. Just had to share, this granola is so good. I just ate like a couple handfuls for something sweet. And I mean, it's just delicious. I could eat the whole bag. When I have my headphones on noise canceling mode, I feel so much calmer. I've been cooking and the dogs have been barking, both Sammy and my neighbor's dog. And when I have these on, pure silence. It feels so good. Even like the sound of my computer humming, I like can't even hear. Um, but I'm just finishing up a video that I have going live tomorrow. And I'm also watching some YouTube videos while I'm cooking. I have tomato sauce on the stove and I am kind of deciding still what I'm gonna do with it. But um, I just really wanted to make some fresh tomato sauce. After my therapy session today, I very much was able to acknowledge that like I need to listen to myself more and journal more instead of ignoring my feelings and rushing and just filling all of my time with content. So taking it slow, cooking dinner and having nothing to do this evening but like read and journal sounds really nice and I'm really looking forward to it. I am reading the book tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I'm almost done with it, but so far I've really loved it because it's based in LA and so it's like really easy to picture the different spots they're in and it's a really sweet book. So would recommend. I feel like you guys need to see Sammy before we sign off just so you can know she's doing well. There's the baby. We went to the vet 
two days ago to check up on her ear infection that they noticed when we first went in and that is all cleared up and we got negative test results for her urine test which is great and she seems to be in good spirits she's also very fluffy she has a haircut coming up next week we will definitely be back with some new content soon and i appreciate all of you for your patience again with me and my uploads and we will see you guys later